Hello, we are back. We're going to do another Course in Miracles lesson. I'm Earl Purdy. Uh, my friends call me Raj. And I'm going, to do a, I'm going to do with you a Course in Miracles lesson 288, 288, lesson 288, which is, <clears throat> let me forget my brother's past today. Let me forget that person's past today. Let me forget my brother's past today. Let me forget my brother's past today. Let me forget it. Let me forget it. Let me forget it. Let me forget my brother's past. Let me forget that person's past today. Let me forget their past today. Let me forget. Forget what? My brother's past. I want to forget your past. Let me forget my brother's past today. This is the thought that leads the way to God and brings you to your goal of happiness. <clears throat> you cannot come to God without your brother. You're not going to get to God without your brother, which is the other minds that are joined with you. And to have your source, you first must recognize what God created one with you. In order to have God, you need to recognize what God created just the same as you. Now, your brothers is the hand that leads you on the way to God. Your brothers' so-called sins and guilts are in the past, along with your so-called sins and guilts being in the past. You are saved and you are saved and you are saved and do you know why you are saved? Do you know why you are saved? You are saved because your past is gone. Your past is over. Your past is over. Your past is over. What's gone is gone. What's Like we said in the South, what's gone is gone. Let you not cherish your past within your heart or you will lose the way to walk with God if you keep cherishing the past in your heart. Your brother is your savior. The people in your life, they are your saviors. Your brother is your savior. Let you not attack the savior God has given you. Let you not attack the Savior God has given you, your brother, or you could say your sister, even though we're not talking about gender. Because what we are is beyond our gender. But let you honor your brother who bears God's name. And that's the way you remember that God's name is your name. Forgive me then today. And you should ask to be forgiven today, which means you should ask to be correctly perceived today. And you will know that you have forgiven me if you behold your brother in the light of holiness. Your brother cannot be less holy than you. And I cannot be more holy than you. You can't be more holy than me. You can't be more innocent than me. I can't be more innocent than you. So let me forget. Today is about forgetting someone's past. Forget the past. Forget the past. So you're asking the universe. Don't you know you are asking the universe to let you forget the other person's past today. The course defines past as gone. So another way of saying it, it is, let me forget my brother's gone today. Let me forget my brother's gone today. Let me forget my brother's past today. Let me forget my brother's past today. Today, let me forget my brother's past. 
Let me forget that person's past. Let me forget another's past. Let me forget another's past. Let you forget another's past. Let you, for, let you forget your brother's past today. This is Earl Purdy. Check me out at earlpurdy.com and you can watch videos of my classes and you can listen to audios of my classes. Pass this on to others. Let peace extend from my mind to yours and forget the other person's past. Forget the other person's past today. Hello, many mighty companions. This is Earl and this is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm going to do review uh, seven, the master theme seven, which is what is the Holy Spirit? What is the Holy Spirit? We constantly hear the term Holy Spirit in A Course in Miracles. What is the Holy Spirit? Well, the Holy Spirit, do you know that the Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth? The Holy Spirit is the part of your mind that mediates between what's true and what's false. Since the Holy Spirit must, the Holy Spirit must bridge the gap between reality and dreams, perception leads to knowledge through, through the grace that God has given the Holy Spirit to be his gift to everyone who turns to him for truth. Across the bridge that the Holy Spirit provides, <clears throat> across the bridge that the Holy Spirit provides, our dreams all carry to the truth to be dispelled before the light of knowledge. There are sights and sounds forever laid aside, and where sights and sounds were perceived before, forgiveness has made possible perceptions tranquil in. Do you know that the goal of the Holy Spirit's teaching, the goal of your loving right mind's teaching, the Course in Miracles defines the Holy Spirit as your loving mind, your loving right mind. So the goal of the loving right mind's teaching the goal of the Holy Spirit's teaching, the goal the Holy Spirit's teaching sets is just this end of dreams, the end of false ideas. For sights and sounds must be translated from witnesses to fear to witnesses of love. What you see and what you hear must be translated from something that witnesses fear to something that witnesses love. And when this translation from fear to love is entirely accomplished, learning has achieved the only goal that it really has in truth. When your perception is changed from a fearful perception to a non-fearful perception to a loving perception, then the Holy Spirit's goal has been achieved. The voice for God's goal inside of you has been achieved. For learning, as the, love, as the Holy Spirit guides it, learning, as the voice for God guides learning, is... <clears throat> for learning as the Holy Spirit guides it to the outcome Holy Spirit proceeds for learning, learning becomes the means to go beyond learning, to be replaced by eternal truth. Learning is the means that you use to go beyond learning until you get to the eternal truth. If you but knew how much your Creator yearns to have you recognize your innocence, if you but knew how much your Father yearns that you recognize your sinlessness, you wouldn't let God's voice appeal in vain. You wouldn't turn away from God's replacement for the fearful images and dreams you've made. If you but knew how much your father yearns to have you recognize your innocence, you would not let his voice appeal in vain, nor turn away from his replacement for the fearful images and dreams you've made. The Holy Spirit, the loving right mind in you, the voice for God in you, understands the means you've made by which you would attain what is forever unattainable, which is permanent separation. And if you offer everything that you've made, to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will employ the means you made for exile. The Holy Spirit is going to use the things that you have used to hurt yourself to restore your mind to where your mind truly is at home. From knowledge, which is where the Holy Spirit has been placed by God, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit calls to you. The Holy Spirit calls to you to let forgiveness rest upon your dreams. That's the same as saying letting correct perception rest upon all of your false perceptions. Let correct perception rest upon all your false perceptions. The Holy Spirit wants you to be restored to sanity, and sanity is peace of mind. Without forgiveness, will your dreams remain to terrify you? Without correct perceptions, will your false ideas remain to terrify you? And the memory of all your Father's love, and the memory of all of your Creator's love will not return to signify the end of dreams has come, the end of fear has come.
Accept your father's gift. Accept your creator's gift. Your creator's gift is a call from love to love that love but be loved. The Holy Spirit is God's gift. The Holy Spirit is God's gift. The voice for God within you is God's gift. So the Holy Spirit is God's gift by which the quietness of heaven is restored to you, God's beloved son, you, God's beloved creation. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God? Would you refuse to take the function of, of completing happiness? Would you refuse to take the function of completing happiness when all God wills is that you be complete in happiness? All God wills is that you be complete in happiness. So what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the part of you that mediates between what's true and what's false. The Holy Spirit is the part of you that has to bridge the gap between what's really true and what you made up in your mind to be true. The Holy Spirit is trying to translate everything that you see that causes you any kind of lack of peace into something that only reminds you of love and brings you love. So accept the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of, is the, the Holy Spirit is the guide that God has given you that's inside of you that will bring you back to the love and the happiness and that peaceful, sane state of mind, that fun, loving state of mind that is your natural state. What is the Holy Spirit? is the Holy Spirit. Yeah.